the most interesting person that I've met, Mike Dean. He uh, one of my favorite producers of all time. You know, he definitely uh, was a cornerstone of that uh, rap a lot era. And now he doing a whole lot of work with uh, with Kanye. I mean, you know, his sound just so futuristic. But just him as a person, he definitely uh, <laughs> probably the most interesting person that I met. He, he definitely one of the coolest guys that I know. Uh, the first album that I ever purchased with uh, my own money was uh, Ghetto Boys, We Can't Be Stopped. I got the tape and I had a walk. My mama got me a Walkman for Christmas. So I feel old saying it, but <laughs> my mom got me a Walkman. I was, in, uh, I was a little kid and um, I've been a ghetto boy ever since. Before the end of the world, uh, I either want to be like in Halle Berry room or Rihanna room somewhere, whatever they at. And I think I'd be content with that. I could, I could deal with that. The most embarrassing thing I've been caught doing? Uh, Probably dancing to um, Cassie, Me and You. That's my guilty pleasure. I love you too, Cassie. I love her too. That's, that's like one of my favorite songs. Me and You, that's, that's a guilty pleasure of mine. So probably rocking to that. What would I bring in as an adult for show and tell? I'll probably bring my uncle, Big Time Watts. If you don't know, check out my vine. My uncle, Big Time Watts, BTW, man. He raised me. So uh, if I was going to bring anything to show and tell, I'd bring that because he's a, he's a real catastrophe. You know, he want, he like the knife wonder of the world, man. I don't even know how this nigga's still alive. He drink a goddamn uh, ton of liquor every day. He like drug proof, so that's my uncle. I love that nigga. He one of the funniest niggas I know, so I definitely bring that nigga to show and tell. Uh, my dream collaboration uh, right now, probably Jay-Z, because I need, um, I mean, I, I feel like I'm at a point in my career right now where I need a measuring stick. You know what I mean? I need to see if I can rap at a level with a with a with a top guy like that. If I could like hold my own on the track, so that'd be a good thing for me to see where I'm at as a uh, as an MC. Jay Z been the best for like 20 years now, so. You know? My favorite song uh, in general is probably uh, Isley Brothers' "Living for the Love of You." That's my grandma's favorite song, so yeah, probably my favorite song. I like that. That's that shit. Smooth it on out. Drifting on a memory. That's my shit. Ain't no place I'd rather be than with you. Yeah, see? Play that around the young bitch these days, they be like, nigga, what the fuck's going on? Somebody that I never met, but I think I get along with, dead or alive, Tupac. <laughs> I wish I would've met Tupac. Tupac, my other favorite rapper. I, um, I mean, I don't know, maybe we wouldn't get along. Maybe we both hard-headed, maybe we'd we'll be beefing or something like that, you never know. Hi, my name is Freddie Gibbs, and I'm a complex individual. Bitch.